American and Italian hostages killed in U.S. drone strike. What's going on, guys? Make Electric. It is Friday, the 24th of April, 2015. This would be a video response to a video, actually, that was posted in 2013. Obama jokes about predator drones, says you will never see it coming. That'll be the first link below. Check it out. Listen to it a few times before you look at the second link, American and Italian hostages killed by U.S. drone strike. Well, Obama takes responsibility for this and says he's sorry. Oh, you're sorry we continue to kill women and children around the world. And, you know, this time an American and Italian hostage. You know, uh, nice work. You're sorry. Kiss our ass. I got a ton of stuff to give you here. We're going to go over a lot of Jade Helm stuff. Target closing Canadian stores earlier than planned. You know, this is something that kind of went in the background for a while. With all of this Walmart stuff going on in America, I want to remind you that 133, 133 Target stores are closing in Canada. Now, Canada was part of Operation Blackjack. Of course, that slideshow will be at the bottom, the bottom links of this video if you want to review that. I believe a nuclear weapon did detonate in Canada in that uh, fictitious slideshow that ran in the Telegraph years ago. Now, all these uh, targets closing, is this because of something financial? Perhaps, but maybe, you know, a lot of people are bringing up points about, you know, Walmarts could be turned into, like, uh, internment camps and all kinds of other stuff, underground tunnels and yada yada. I don't know. I'll just give you the link, you know. Take all this with a grain of salt. I got a ton of stuff to give you. Uh, speaking of Canada, under Jade Helm, Canadian troops will help enforce martial law on Americans. April 21, I mean, I don't know. I'll put a link to it. Like I say, take it with a grain of salt. More store closings. I got a couple of Kmart closures. Now, Kmart's not doing good financially either. But just take note, I believe this is uh, the Pocono record. I think this is out of Pennsylvania. Kmart in Mount Pocono to close this summer. Uh, I got a secondary one here, a different store. This out of uh, Milwaukee Business News, Kmart to close. Look at the date. Close officially on June 21st. That's very interesting. Isn't that the day of Operation Blackjack, if I remember correctly? Very interesting timing. I'll put a link to that. Uh, Walmart layoffs and Brandon are permanent, notice says. You know, this article, I think it's a local mainstream article, goes into talk about how the store is going to be reopened in six months. However, the employee memo notes, we do not expect to reopen in six months. So, you know, conflicting information. Very strange. NBC News reports Homeland Security. Now, a lot of people brought this to my attention, and thank you. This is an article from 2010. Homeland Security taps new partner in terror fight, Walmart. So Walmart was already in bed with the DHS. Uh, I'll give you a link to that, more information there. You know, I got a link here. Lieutenant Colonel caught in lies about Jade Helm, our worst fears confirmed, April 24. Take it with a grain of salt, but some interesting information on that page. Take a look, scroll down, look at that conversation. Uh, we got this. I don't know how true this is. Helicopters heading to abandoned Walmarts in mass. Again, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know. Signs that the elite are preparing for something big. This from Investment Watch on April 15. Very interesting things going on in the financial world while all this other stuff's going on. I don't know. Uh, are we expecting something big to happen? False flag or real terror event or maybe both perhaps? DOE warns modern life threatened by terror, uh, climate threats to electric grid. They got a video on that from the examiner on uh, April 21. Check it out. Uh, we got a couple more here. We got video. Are there buildup of FEMA coffins in Southern California? Question mark three days ago from your newswire. I believe there's a buildup of FEMA coffins all over the United States, is there not? Those were never used any for anything, to my knowledge. Uh, we got Oklahoma. Look at this. More closings here. Now, check this out. Tell me if this is just a coincidence. Oklahoma governor's mansion to be closed for six months for repair work. Six months. Isn't that the amount of time that all the Walmarts are supposed to be closed? Very interesting stuff here. I'll give you this link. I don't know. A couple links at the bottom. Somebody alerted me to this, and I just I didn't remember this. Walmart was indeed mentioned in the TV series Jericho. I'll put a link to the clip. Uh, one minute, 28 seconds. Listen to how Walmart was used in the TV series Jericho. A FEMA tent city. Just FYI, uh, thank you to Professor Doom One for uploading that clip. And I'll also put a link from Smoke Joe Trainer. A bad bad year lies ahead. I always respect his his opinion because I know he's been in the military and he, you know, he's seen a lot of stuff that uh, you know civilians haven't, and he knows you know people in the military and whatnot. So thank you for putting out a video. Definitely pull his uh, information up, take a look at it. It's five minutes long. Uh, you know, it's good good info in my opinion. Anyway, guys, I love your thoughts on all this madness. What do you think about the president uh, saying he's sorry because our drones have, have killed a couple hostages, one of them an American? No due process. I wonder if any repar reparations would be made to his family. Probably not. You know, just an apology from the president. And, you know, nobody will be held accountable because, you know, well, he apologized. So, 
you know, all is well and back to our brandy, eh? Please rate the video. Please pass the information around. Make people aware of what's going on. Just a little uh, madness on a Friday morning. You guys take care. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.